本日のセミファイナルタッグマッチ三十分一本勝負を行います。First of our two co-main events, TJ and we have ourselves well, two members of the Bullet Club. It's back in the fold with this group a year now. And Yujiro Takahashi and Chase Owens. You know, we talked about tag team efficiency earlier in the night. We talked about the controlled chaos of a team like Yano and Colt, but the Bullet Club you know, you have this entire group that has a status among them, and I, I emphasize the word status because they have this aura about them and a level that they all compete at, and this teamwork doesn't even begin to describe the type of same pace that they're on. It is so difficult to take on an entity like this. You talk about it being an entity. Takashi Yujiro! You can't tell me the message didn't come from Gorillas of Destiny. Soften up Finley and Robertson, and Robertson tonight. Well, see, that's we'll, the thing. We'll, it's a, it's we'll a, take the titles home. It's a layered. It's a layered thing with the Bullet Club because there's so many of them, and you know, you, you end up finding that your schedule, you know, has you lined up against them night after night after night after night. And you don't realize it's not the first match they get you or the second one, but down the road, eventually the Bullet Club gets you because of the sheer numbers in it. Well, the numbers of wins that have been put together by Finjuice since World Tag League have to be considered the hottest tag team in the world right now. Winning the titles at Wrestle Kingdom after capturing World Tag League and certainly shocking a lot of the wrestling community in achieving that accomplishment in December, but able to follow up with a win at the Dome. <laughs> and there you see those IWGP heavyweight tag titles. Juice Robinson and David Finley. And two guys that really, I mean, there is no other more unorthodox example of a Cinderella story than these guys. IWGP Tag Good Champion Team, 182 cents, 90 kilos. Coming in, starting at the very bottom, Benito building themselves into the performers that they want to be. And if you look at them, I mean, they're, they're just, they're in their element right now. I mean, this is 100% them 24 hours a day. And I think that is exactly why they are the way they are, or where they are, because, you know, they just reach this level of comfort and, and acceptance with each other. They, they just, they know each other so well. I mean, this is a real bond. These guys are partners, 24 hours a day. They don't leave the, they don't leave a bar without each other. They don't check in or out of a place without each other. They got each other's back in a way that, you know, they're champions for a reason. A lot of teams have trouble finding that bond as strong as they do. You'd have to wonder how, how lost Juice would have been on the road when Jeremy Finley was out with a shoulder injury and coming back from shoulder surgery. But once they got back and they got on that roll, they just complement each other so well. They call themselves road wives and now <laughs> hold on to those titles. But this is a chance maybe for I think huge they, I think they design each other's pants too. Yujiro and Owens, they would love a shot at those tag titles as well. Maybe a little bit of insurance for the Bullet Club, depending on the results in Atlanta when it's Finn Juice and Grills of Destiny, a rematch from the Dome. What's the over-under on how long the bandana stays on Chase's head? I'm going to give it, oh, I'll give six minutes. Six minutes. He's going to try his best. Finley ending the tour in his hometown of Atlanta. Yeah, Finley was such a unique pedigree for, for 
you know, professional wrestling. You know, obviously his dad is a legend, somebody that I, you know, had the pleasure of spending a lot of years with on the road and, and be able to learn from him. And, and, you know, to have that sort of upbringing and to kind of come into his own in a, a totally different way than, than his dad. And, and, and he's just, he's got such a unique story. It's, it, it's incredible to watch his evolution. Yeah, I don't think his dad fit would be wearing tights like that. <laughs> you know, you say that, but he, he at one point was rocking the studded one-armed leather jacket, you know. That's true. So there's a little there's a little bit of that in there. Owens was looking forward to a one-on-one -on -one contest with Kota Ibushi. However, Ibushi again back in Japan recovering right now from an illness. And you gotta think yep. that Chase is gonna take that edge a little bit with him throughout this tour because you know he came in with a chip on his shoulder and he had no outlet for that. He was trying to get it get Ibushi into the bullet club by picking up a victory over him, but that'll have to wait now. Quick tanks from Juice and Finley. The tag team offense. Right back to it. Into the corner. Measuring the spot. And the Three Stooges eye poke. Well, if there's ever a better definition of work smarter, not harder, I don't think you could find one better than Juice. <laughs> Owens answering with a thigh into the gut. Speaking of, of smarter, not harder. Nice arm breaker here by Yujiro applied in the corner. And I take it back. When in doubt, let your partner do the work. Take a breather, no tags. Find the angles. Sometimes the best moves you do are the ones the referee does not see. And a clear example of it now, Yujiro again. Doing great work on the left arm of Juice Robinson. And <laughs> Well, the Tokyo Pimp enjoying the Miami sunshine. Feels right at home. I don't uh, think he quite realizes what is happening here. And the... Owens caught the arm. The wheels oh, are Yujiro turning. Owen. Nice. He's not the sharpest tool in the box. There you go. Now you get it, little buddy. Down Oof. goes Yujiro off the apron. Pace is gonna pick up here. Up and over. Oh, nice single, single ankle tag down. Robinson, hip, hip toss. Owens answering with some boots. Slam. Miss on the elbow drop. Great takedown. You know, I was going to say, you know, it, it, it wouldn't be fair to not make note that Chase is a lot better of a technician than I think people give him credit for, you know, especially because of the aura of the Bullet Club. But, you know, Juice is a lot better of a technician than he gets credit for because he's just so damn silly. Oof! Oof. Veteran move from Chase Owens using and every bit of the ring. There's coming into play right there. And Yujiro, back elbow. You see, this is really smart here because you know you know that Juice is going to look for an opening to make the tag, but you have over here Chase taking advantage of the damage that Yujiro is doing. He's not just you know resting on his laurels; he's taking it out on Finley too. And a two-on-one opportunity in Yujiro with the thrust kick. So right now, if there is an opening, there is no tag to make for Juice, and that is so important because this this minute leads to two minutes, leads to three minutes, and before you know it, you've taken so much damage, you had no opportunity. Continuing the assault. Takahashi. Look at Ascend. Juice into the boot. Of Owens. Five minutes pass, five minutes pass. Chase Owens. Quick to keep the offense going. Oof. Wrenching on the neck of Juice Robbins. Two count only. But cutting the ring in half. And Owens, again, just to your point, 
clears the apron, and that uh, maintains what would effectively be a power play for the Bullet Club. The crowd trying to energize Juice right now. Juice is back to his feet, but Chase is given, awful perilous. Given Juice, well, he loaded up the left hand of the Bullet Club. That was not going to fall. Great step overs. Fundamental. Both running in. Ah, oh, the hot tag! Chase creates his opening here. Finley's going to take advantage. Finley. Lariats. Drop kick on the money to Owens. Takahashi. Big match, Debbie running through him. Eating the shoulder, and that shoulder looking fine for David Finley. Now following up. Uniquely cut off the ring for both of them. There Flying Euro. Cover two. And can't get the three. Finley getting closer to getting them in a position to put them away. You know, usually it's not that first pin. You, you know that you know you have a chance to pin them, but it's not that first pin that gets them. It's, it's wearing them down. That second, third, fourth opportunity, is, that's really where you, know, you beat a guy in these championship type matches. Ujiro grabbing the kick from Finley. Oh, basement drop kick. Ujiro's just so sneaky fast. You just don't expect it from him. Double team, thrust, knee. Up with a fisherman buster. Ooh, driving through Owens. Cover! Finley just able to get the shoulder up. Juice is back on his feet. He'll be ready to break up the next opportunity if it comes. But outside. But Finley you, can't give him too much. He's got to find a way to mount an offense here. Yujiro taking care of business. Oh, but the reversal into the post. Package pile driver up. Finley, back body drop. Crashes, chase down. Back cracker. Cover two. Owens finds the escape. Getting close, we're back to 50-50 here. Looks like we got, we got a brand new match. And now Owens is caught in no man's land. They're gonna try to end it quick. What do they got planned here? Oh no! G.O.D. breaking this up! And just as we talked about softening up for Atlanta, Tonga Loa, Tama Tonga! Looking somehow to get those titles back around their waist. It is just a numbers thing with the Bullet Club. Bullet Club tactics, full effect! Robinson. No. No, they can't get this. Not a super power bomb. Juice. Outside, Finley fighting his way out. And here comes the ace. Here we go. Rocky and Tanahashi. Ring introductions be damned. Second half of our main event starting right now. I don't think they thought ahead about where they were going and who might be following. Tanahashi, Rocky oh, Romero looking man. to make it two on two, but. We'll see what Rocky has on his mind. Rocky's about to turn whoa, whoa, these numbers whoa, whoa. into something more massive and bring the house with him. Like that. No, 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 no. So I got a proposition. Why don't the four of you idiots against the four toughest SOBs in New Japan Pro Wrestling? Finley, Juice, Rocky, and the ace, Hiroshi Tanahashi. Four on four! We're gonna have Let's an eight man! Four on four! Four on four! Four on four! Four on four! Four on 
Well, by the well, sound we'll, of it, it sounds like Rocky just turned it into an arena versus four. Bullet Club accepted Rocky's challenge. This will now be 4 on 4 tag team match. So Yujiro and Chase, Juice and Finley, going to stay at ringside. This will be and interesting it's, how we. And the Donny Brook has broken off. are off, baby. Tama Tonga to the outside. There goes Tonga Loa. And Chase, the lone Bullet Club member left. Too sweet from Thin Juice. Rocky with a basement drop kick. And Tanahashi, elbow drop for good measure. And air guitar to finish off. Out in front of us. Gorillas oh, of Destiny. Be careful. Maintaining the control, getting it back. Bullet Club. I don't think Rocky realizes he is all alone. Doing exactly what Bullet Club gonna do. Miami is no man's land to this Cuban. Ooh. Can't hit the gun stun. Up and over. That's Havana Brothers style right there. Herna Carana. One for you, Jiro. Chase. Will he get caught with one? Pop up. Rocky Romero clears the ring. That's my brother. Swing through. Oh, but. Tonga Loa. Too much power. Drives him home with the power bomb. We're talking about an eight-man tag, and so far we haven't seen any semblance of it. It's just been a full-on brawl. Referee's got to get some type of control. I know it's impromptu. Right now, Rocky's singled out. He's got to find a way to. He's got to find a way to channel that old Havana brother fire. Because right now he doesn't have a team to lean on. Rocky has been talking about a replacement for Kota Ibushi in this main event. Romero, ah, oh, snap suplex, quick cover, Tonga. And Tama can't get the three. And again, snap suplex, Tonga Loa. Up and over, comes crashing down. The chip that has to be on the Gorillas of Destiny's shoulder right now after coming out of the Dome again without the titles. And resentment and disdain, and you could see them focusing it. The speed and you know power that they're putting into this attack. Fighting on the floor, everything. You know, you can tell that they're definitely on a mission. It's different from before. Five-time IWGP tag champ, so they want to make it six. Yujiro Takahashi, only a two count there. You know, Yujiro used to be a dojo mate of mine when I was a young boy in New Japan. He uh, was not the Tokyo did, Pimp back then. Did you expect this type of trans transformation? No, when we used to drain the petty cash to order Domino's Pizza, I never expected that he'd be uh, you know, bringing Peter along someday and be this suave man of his nightlife. Well, he's a man of his element here in Miami is <laughs> Chase Owens. Just putting the boot down, but just that's a careless, careless cover on Rocky Romero. And again, textbook G-O-D. And the, well, that's not an air guitar. Well, Rocky has not even passed halfway across that lion's mark in this ring this entire match since the advantage has been taken from them. 
But Chase Owens loading up and just a successful entry into the ring. Uh, I said but coming Chase across. was a low key you know, technician. I never said he was a low key flyer. Rocky needs to find some type of defense right now. Uh, oh! Hit. Base hit! Chase Owens. This is just impolite is what it is. Great oh, reversal Rocky from Rocky Romero. He's got to get up now and find his way to the corner, TJP. Ah. Oh. And again, smart bullet club offense. Big T really doing the, the intelligent Boom, move there. Five minutes, boss. If Five you don't minutes, have a, boss. If you have a shot, or if you don't have a shot at stopping the uh, the exit, you stop the incoming. Cutting him off at the pass. Tongaloa. Although he might Just be playing with fire here, letting Rocky get back to his feet and begging him to fire away. Rocky's got to reach deep in the reserves now. He's got to load up with something. My old Havana brother partner, El Cubanito. He's got more fire than you expect. Here it comes, loading up. Poke to the eyes. And he's a lot smarter than you think too. Sneaky style in full King effect. King of sneaky style. He's got to find the tag though. Oh, great tackle into the corner. And when this all is else, why we have weight classes. <laughs> when all else fails, yeah. Rocky, an eight-time IWGP junior heavyweight tag champion. Of course, he'll be watching the action in Sapporo. Rapongi 3K defending the belts. Up and over. Oh! Finds his way to get the headlock and drive down on the DDT. And now let's rewind it. He's got a second chance. Miami cheering him on. In comes Juice Robinson. Down goes Yujiro. Down goes Chase. And Tama Tonga just says, nah, I'll see you in Atlanta. Tonga Loa, though, caught in the corner. Lariat. Have another. Drops him down, looking for the cannonball. Big splash to miss. Tama trying to break up the pattern, but they're going to get Cannonball two one. for their trouble. Cannonball two. Body is a weapon. Juice Robinson. Finlay, he wants in. Pops up, atomic drop. We got a review and a preview here. There we go. Might put him away. Fantastic impact, but just not enough for the cover. How tough is it gonna be for Finn Juice right now? After a match and now coming in. Well, this is what man. champions are made of. Driven back. Big splash, Tama Tonga. Striking so well with the elbows. Chokehold applied. Just crushing the larynx of Finley. Good hook. All four down. Everybody's down. Who's going to be the first to their feet for the tag? Tana and Yujiro. And looking at their options, I gotta say, this side with Tanahashi coming in has a distinct advantage. Finley gets to the ace. In comes Yujiro. Tanahashi batting clean up here. Reversal from Tanahashi, but he eats the forearm of Tanahashi. Yujiro like a deer in headlights there. Fans going wild for the once in a century talent. Scoop slam. Second rope. Senton crashing through. 
Huge hero, two count though. Tanahashi just having his way right now. Yujiro is not going to have an answer. Oh, that damn but stick! Jado will. The X Factor of Jado. There's the kendo stick. And Jado has turned it into. He's looking to follow up here. But a five on four. Juice takes it right in the ribs. Rips it away. Left hand of God. Now Chase getting it loading up. Here it comes. Oh, Tamatanga inside. Snapmare takedown. Great body tackle. You got guys Tama coming Tonga. in and out all over the place here. Finley. Body to back. Spear. Ooh. And Rocky, left inside, he high knows. knee. Head scissor take over. And again, oh, inverted DDT. Juppenke got 10 minutes pass, 10 minutes pass. Looking to single out Tanahashi here. Dragon screw leg whip. And another, holds on. Looking for the clover leaf. Turns him over. Got the win with it, North Carolina. You drills in no man's land. Tanahashi's got him. Locked up. You got to think the Bullet Club's looking to break this here. In comes Gorillas of Destiny. Grabbing that majestic hair of Tanahashi. Trying to set Magic Killer up. Good fight out there. Tanahashi knows what's coming. Tana knows. Tope Suicida. Rocky paving the way. Rocky clearing the bases. Yujiro though with the big boot. Sling blade. And now the ace going high. Will Tanahashi we see it? Go deep. High, fly, fly! And that's it! Oh. Tanahashi <laughs> picks up the win! What a performance by the Ace! And that is exactly why that is his namesake. Leading the way for New Japan Pro Wrestling into 2020. Hiroshi Tanahashi. With the win in Miami. Setting himself up for an air guitar battle with the Rock and Roll Express tagging with them in Atlanta. On the first, but the main event there. Finjuice looking to defend those IWGP tag titles in a rematch from Wrestle Kingdom against Gorillaz and Destiny. David Hilde, Juice Robinson, Tanahashi Hiroshigumi no Shouri desu. A salute from Rocky Romero. What a performance to end the night by Finn Juice, you know, especially knowing, you know, how grueling it is to have gone through your first contest to stick around, to choose to stick around and stay in the pocket there and, you know, defend your side and the pressure that's on them as champions, knowing that they have a big match coming up as well, getting off of a big match and, and showing at Wrestle Kingdom. I mean, th this, these are the performances that shape you to another level, and this is exactly why they're the champions right now. And it's actually like this is why you have to get out when New Japan Pro Wrestling of America comes to your town.
leading the way through the Hold U.S. On there, one second, ace of the universe. Chotomate. You guys want to hear Tana say something? Well, Chris Charlton's in Sapporo, so I have no well, idea got, what Tanahashi minutes. might say. As long as it takes. Thank you for coming, New Japan Pro Wrestling. Thank you. Uh, I honestly, I want to show you guys Ibushi, Kota Ibushi. Yeah. Uh, I I promise. Next time, I bring him here. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> then, then, Tanashi and Ibis challenge tag title match. Challenge for the belts. Okay, okay. But, but I have to uh, prove, prove, uh, I, Tanashi and Iris beat COD! Okay. Yeah. Thank you again. Thank you for coming. Tanahashi the ace. King of giving the people what they want. Okay. The fans want even more of Hiroshi Tanahashi. And they want a little air guitar. We're gonna get a Who concert. Hear some air guitar. They know what's coming. Someone throw it to them. There is zero chance that Juice will allow this to not happen. We're getting a concert, my friend. We are getting a concert. Okay. Uh, do you have four guitar? Okay. Four guitar, please pass me. Everyone tossing guitars into Tanahashi. Everyone's getting their guitar now. In Miami, where there's a big guitar in the landscape. The band is ready. We're about to hear. This awesome crowd in Miami is about to get a concert. The best air guitar. Here we go. This side of Tokyo. Fun and games now, but we'll be all fun and games Saturday night when the titles are on the line. Well, no one got the t-shirt from Lance Archer, but everyone's getting their air guitar now. A little hard to display an air guitar, you know? Just hold a, put a glass case up. I got this air guitar from the ace himself, Tanahashi. What a way to close out the show. Thank you, thank you. I, I visited Miami first time. Yeah.
Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Miami is very beautiful. Thank you. Do you finally do you know I smart? Okay. Repeat after me. I smart. Okay. It's a cultural exchange now. I <laughs> smart. Okay. Okay. Let's go. The Sayuri Miami. I smart. Giving everyone what they want. Here in Miami, Tanahashi with the IWGP Tag Champs and Rocky Romero standing tall. And not a soul has left the building. Everybody on their feet. This is what they came to see, the superstars of New Japan Pro Wrestling. And the superstar of superstars, our actual ace. Tanahashi closing out the show. What a dude, man. Uh, for you, what a you, dude. Look, look, TJ, but you imagine how many of these guys, how many people in attendance, this is their first time experiencing Tanahashi. They, I, what, they, they would have watched him for years I, and to finally see him live. It's, it's just incredible because, I mean, in my opinion, he's on the short, short list of the greatest of all time. And he's still here, he's still in his prime, and for people to see that, you know, all the way over here in the USA, and it, for a lot of these people, it's a dream come true. And right now, the selfies being taken by everyone here at ringside. <laughs> yeah, TJP, when are you wrestling Archer? Oh, they're, they're hopefully never weak. You are, you are, you are getting booked here in the front row. My friend, I gotta say, it's been an absolute blast. Oh my God! Thank Teaming you for you. having me. This has thank been you. an amazing night. You're, you are at a, <laughs> hey, big match, Nemi. A natural here at Color Commentary. Well, it it is uh, it is quite different from taking punches on the chin and. I quite prefer it, and I thank you very much for having me. Well, in Atlanta, you're going to be up against Tanahashi, so let's get a little preview. Well, Yourself, Clark, and Alex Zane against the Rock and Roll Express, and the man in front of us, Hiroshi Tanahashi. Well, with Tanahashi, he's a guy I've known a long time. I've obviously looked up to him, as have you know everybody in this building. A lot of people don't know, Tanahashi was just a graduating young lion when I came into the New Japan system. He was just in the class ahead of me. So I remember him when he was basically, you know, a young boy and a young lion and progressing into this. And so, you know, I look forward now, later in our careers, to be the first time stepping in with each other at this stage, and I look forward to it. How much would you do you relish opportunities against them? Oh, I mean, it's incredible. I mean, a guy like him is a generational talent. So, you know, you really, you kind of count the number of times when you get in a ring with a guy like him. And uh, for me, I've been around a long time, and hopefully I'll be around for a lot longer. And to be able to have these moments, and to come, a to come along at a time when he's in his prime, I mean, you, know, you, you gotta be thankful for an opportunity like that. Well, TJ Perkins, you've said it best. You have to be grateful for the opportunities, and there's plenty more opportunities for you here with New Japan Pro Wrestling of America. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mavs Gillis again. Good night from the new beginning in Miami.